In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a nice little uh, two safety high beater for you out of the Arizona Cardinals uh, ebook offense that I've been talking a lot about this year. Um, my name's Cody. If you've never been to one of my YouTube videos before, what my YouTube channel is designed to do and what I try to do and what I shoot for is to give you guys actionable content, content videos, concepts that you can take from my videos and put into your own game plan every single day. I post four times a day here on YouTube, and I'm just really, really excited to talk to you today about scat out of the pistol trips left open. It's a really, really unique formation in the Arizona Cardinals uh, offense. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, I wrote a comprehensive Madden 21 competitive bundle offense and defensive guide out of the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook and out of the 46 defensive playbook. So if you want the full breakdown with over eight hours of video footage, multiple film study sessions, and multiple updates that encompass all of the formations in both of these playbooks, you can pick that guide up in the description. One of the guys said it is the best guide he has ever purchased for Madden, most comprehensive and most detailed oriented. So if you want to check that out, I'd really appreciate it. And I also think it will help you as well. Now we're going to call the place scat from pistol trips uh, left open. Now this is best ran to the wide side of the field. And we're going to be talking about it against two specific coverages. The first coverage we're going to be talking about it um, against is man-to-man. -man, and the second coverage we're going to be talking about it is zone. Now, I like this against press. Any kind of press defense that they're going to run on you, this, this play works really, really good. Um, and so literally all I'm going to do in the defense, I'm just going to press so that everybody gets jammed. I want everybody to get jammed. That's the whole goal. What you'll see is this route to Marquez Valdez Scantling. This is one of the best routes in the game. This is a bubble screen. Um, it's a bubble screen route. Bubble screens this year are really, really good against man-to-man, -man, but here's what's even better about them. Bubble screens are good if, okay, and if um, they're not attached to an actual bubble screen. In my personal opinion, if it's attached to a passing play like this, that's what makes these bubble screens so good because there's no delay in getting the ball out there and there's no um, blocking, right? There are route concepts that are running running zones out of the way. And what you're going to see here is if they're not in zone coverage, you're going to be able to hit this for a consistent five to 10 yards every single time. This is one of the routes, in my opinion, that is one of the most overpowered routes in Madden 21. Literally, you just lob it out there. And it's a snap lob. If they are not using it, it's it's done. It's no good. Um, they're not going to be able to stop it. What they're going to have to do is they're going to have to put hard flats on that field. They're literally going to have to take their safety on the left side here. He's going to come down on a hard flat, and he's going to come up, and he's going to be the only way they're going to stop it. Or by putting a, a linebacker on a flat. Now, which is a whole other slew of issues. Now, what we also have is we have this um, deep stock fade. You see this fade that Devontae Adams on is, is what we call, um, what I like to call a, um, a fade to the outside. I like to call this an outside streak, outside fade, whatever your terminology is. But basically what it comes down to is it's a, it's a streak that is designed to drift to the sideline. So if they come down and they play this underneath coverage, remember this is a press defense specifically. Jalen Ramsey does have bench press and one step ahead. He's probably the best cornerback in regs. But what you'll see here is Devontae Adams, if you have a good receiver going up against this card, um, for the most part, Eh, Jalen Ramsey's going to be able to get back on him. But if you're in mutt and you have a speed advantage, or if you're in mutt and you just have a better receiver, you're going to see that from time to time, you're going to be able to throw this. Now, again, I do understand with Jalen Ramsey, it's a little bit different because he has that bench press ability. But what you'll see here is if I can wait long enough, eventually Devontae Adams is going to over outrun him. He's going to get over the top of the corner because Jalen Ramsey's playing trail technique coverage. When they press coverage and they're not shading coverage outside and over top, that means that the corner is going to be playing what's called trail technique coverage. And so most of the time, if you have a really, really good receiver, you're going to be able to get over the ball just like that. All I'm doing with Devontae Adams when I throw the ball is I am going to do a slight I'm going to click onto him and then I'm going to do a slight swerve to the outside. So literally lob it up, 
click on, slight swerve to the outside, and as you can see there. Now, again, Jalen Ramsey, really, 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 really good corner. I can't stress that enough. What I would honestly do, if you were playing these guys in regs, just flip the play. Like, literally just flip the play and watch what's going to happen here. This is against an average corner now. Average corner versus average, probably even below average receiver. But watch, watch the difference on this. Watch Taylor, and you're going to see. He's going to get over top, click on. And for the most part, he's going to be over there. If I have Marquez Valdez Scantling, I would also put him in that position. But as long as it's not Jalen Ramsey, you're going to be fairly, fairly consistent. But what I really want to talk about is how this does against Tampa 2. Why this is so good against Tampa 2 is these three routes in combination with one another are going to work off of one another. This little fade to the outside is going to get an outside release against cover two. And you see that you can manually click onto the receiver and make a nice little swerve catch on the sideline. Literally what this means is the defense, if they run cover two, they're screwed in this formation. They cannot run cloud flats. That's a cloud flat cover two. That's literally straight Tampa two. And this ball is going to get over the top. It's going to get over the top every single time. They cannot do this. What I love about it is that the flat route to Valdez scantling is going to pull that cloud flat down and so what that's going to mean is and right there Devonte adams didn't get a good release but what that's going to mean for your offense is you're going to be able to easily easily uh, get this ball either to this little little hitch route to lazard this is cover two right the little hitch route to lazard is going to be open very consistently going to be open my dad um he's he's a nice old check down read He's a nice little check down read, and he's. I tr trust me, you'll throw a lot of him. You'll throw a lot of him. Now, if there's nobody that goes to the shoots to the flat right off the gate, you can hit this bubble screen as you see right here. Even in the man-to-man -man coverage, there's going to be nobody that's going to shoot out to that flat. That's why the air raid system teaches you to read grass and not people, right? Now here we've got somebody to the flat. It's a little bit more of a difficult throw. Part of it's because of where I have my uh, uh, zone drops adjusted. I've got the hook curls shaded underneath, basically. Um, but what you'll see here, and that's one thing with the bubble screen, man, you don't want to throw it late. You do want to throw it quick, throw it hot. But it, let's say they shade coverage, and let's say they're trying to stop the bubble screen. It's right here. Oh, they're shading coverage at me to try to stop this. And part of this is because of the, the shades or the shaded coverage there. Jalen Ramsey is a little bit of a beast here. But what you'll see is this route should get there. It is right there. That's what I'm looking for. That If they start doing zone drops and trying to take away the bubble screen, it's going to be a one-play touchdown every single time because there's not going to be any reroute. If there's no reroute of Devontae Adams, which very seldomly will you actually get a reroute. I'm just telling you, very, very seldomly will you actually get a reroute in zone. Most of the time, the defender that you're going to be facing, I'm telling you right now, most of the time they're just going to, they're going to maybe get you on an inside press and you can click on and typically can aggressive catch it with Ramsey. Most of the time, you're not going to get that good of a reroute. Most of the time, the reroute you're going to get um, is more of a uh, more of an outside reroute. What you'll also see is if they run Tampa 2, and let's say they're shading, let's say they're, they're trying to take away the, the deep bomb, well, you can pop this little bubble screen in behind and still take your 5 to 6. Still take your 5 to 6. So that's what makes this play so good against cover two and against cover two man. That's why I say it's a press coverage killer because if they press you out of this, this is going to work really well. But this works good against all zones. Um, you can low ball that route to Lazard fairly consistently against any coverage that you face. On the back side, you can really do whatever you want. Honestly, there's really no – um, nothing that I would necessarily say you have to do. The one thing I would do is just a little, this little combination right here works really well. These little quick routes um, this year, little quick hitch routes are very effective really against anything. But if they're running like cover three uh, zone, um, something like this right here, what you're going to find is you're going to be able to hit one of those two underneath routes as long as Aaron Rodgers doesn't throw it into the back of his lineman. You're going to be able to consistently hit it. This bubble screen, you'll be surprised. If they don't pass commit, you can throw that pretty much all game. Now, most people will pass commit, and they'll shoot out. Well, if they shoot out, and that's where this is this is where this really is coming from. So if they run cover three, and let's say they shoot, they shoot their guys out like – the, the flat zones are going to shoot out right here. See how they shot out right there? I can get that ball right into Lazard very quick. I can throw that snap throw decision 
very, very easily and get it out of my hands very, very nicely. So it's just a really, really nice play. I wanted to talk about it specifically because if you got the guide, um, this is a nice play to wrinkle in. This formation is actually really, really good. Um, it's got a lot of really good uh, routes. This out and under play is really good, like really, really good. Um, this route to circle uh, is going to beat man-to-man -man, no matter who the receiver is, which is awesome. So anyways, guys, the Arizona offense is phenomenal. In fact, a lot of professional players that I've been talking to have been considering switching to the Arizona playbook and the 4-6 defensive playbook, or if they're not already there. Uh, a lot of people are liking Arizona this year. A lot of people are starting to catch on to it. So if you want to be ahead of the curve, if you want to learn it from the originator of this offense, you know, and again, I didn't, I'm not trying to claim that I originated the Arizona scheme. What I'm trying to claim is that we are have been on Arizona for the last year and a half and been working on things from Arizona specifically around the air raid. And so, you know, what you're starting to see in Madden is people are starting to really understand it and starting to use it. we got some really, really good videos of RPOs in the guide that are really, really effective this year. You can turn RPOs into, like, quarterback draws, basically, which is awesome. But I'm just telling you, if you want to get really, really deep into this offense and really understand everything about it, you're going to want to pick up the guide. And the guide comes with an offense and a defense. So you get both uh, for the price of one guide. It's in the description, Madden 21 Competitive bundle i want to thank you so much for your support if you guys subscribe and we will be on stream tonight at 10 o'clock showing more plays from arizona talking through more concepts answering more questions for you but until then guys check out a couple of these videos on the screen that are going to give you some more tips and madden and we'll see you tonight